I know probably a lot of you are gonna say, Jess, you don't need any more handbags. But I also have like collector's tendencies. Is it worth just buying the Kelly wallet and then just getting a conversion kit and put a strap on it? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Hope you're having a wonderful morning or evening or afternoon. I wanted to discuss today my luxury wish list for my life. I think it's a bit hard to imagine how many bags I'm gonna have in my life or even if these are truly the bags that I really want. And before buying my next bag, I really wanna consider it and think about it for a while. And since I haven't bought a bag in like four or so months, I feel like my perspective and my thoughts towards certain bags has kind of changed a little bit. So anyways, guys, um, I'm not thinking of buying a bag anytime soon, but there are some bags, you know, floating around in my brain that I'm considering buying in the future and I wanted to discuss them with you guys today. Recently, I've grown a little bit of an interest towards the Mini 2424 from Hermes. And oh, firstly, guys, I just want to talk about how I only want to buy Hermes bags from now on because although it's awfully tempting to buy a coach bag or a Kate Spade or a contemporary brand because they're much more accessible and easier to afford. I don't want to like get addicted to buying contemporary bags because I feel like that could be super addictive. Like recently I was really tempted to buy a coach bag that went on sale. I was, I actually made a video about these bags uh, last year and they did a whole collection of like cute shaped bags like with um, you know, hearts and fish and I think there was a bunny rabbit. And anyway, the this like pink heart went on sale. And I really like the pink heart, but I said no to it because although it was like only $300, I just didn't want to veer off track from like what I really wanted to get, which, which is like eventually another Hermes bag. And the reason why I only stick to Hermes bags is because I find one, the quality is really good. The designs are pretty classic. And I personally really love all the colors that they do. Love how they have really good after sales. I love how you can bring a bag that's like, you know, over 50 years old to Hermes and they'll spar it for you. I think that after sales is uh, really important for me when it comes to luxury. Um, yeah, Hermes does it really well. Not only that, but a lot of Hermes bags hold value. They go up in values. I also have like collector's tendencies. So once I like go down a path of like some genre, I like to stick to the genre instead of like buying a whole lot of different things. Yeah, so anyways, um, the coach bag, it wasn't really what I wanted, so I didn't buy the coach bag, but it was awfully tempting. And I almost feel like sometimes if you're really itchy to buy a bag, it's better to buy a contemporary bag than to blow your money on like a Chanel bag or an Hermes bag, if that's not what you truly want. But yeah, I just know for me, like I just need to stick to my goals here. So anyways, uh, First bag that I've been thinking about is the 2424 in Mini. And this bag has been playing on my mind for a while. And Eliza, hi Eliza if you're watching, commented on my video yesterday and said, yes, you need a 2424, you need a 2424, is it working yet? Uh, and yeah, she's recommending it to me. And I've watched a whole lot of YouTubers talk about the Mini 2424. And the reason why I really like it is because it's a very casual Hermes bag. And I can see myself wearing it a lot because lately I've been wearing my uh, pink Belide a lot in uh, the 25 size and I feel like the mini 2424 24 is you know similar size it's um, pretty I think it's like maybe 21 centimeters I don't exactly know but I like how you can wear it a lot of different ways as well and you can even wear it as a backpack which is quite cute but I was thinking between this and like the Kelly Ado backpack which has been on my wish list for a while in my brain would I rather get a Kelly Ado backpack or a Mini 2424? Because the reason why Kelly Ado backpack is slightly better is because it's a part of the Kelly family, which means that it's like gonna have better resale value down the line. Like Kelly and Birkin, anything is just like, I don't know, more sought after in general than like Hermes non-quota bags. Uh, but also I've really wanted the Kelly backpack for like years and it's just, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, if I bought a 24-24 this year, then I probably wouldn't have, like, enough extra funds to buy a Kelly backpack as well. And, yeah, they're both, like, bags that I want, but, yeah, I'm still, like, not sure about it. Uh, cons of 24-24 are, uh, well, yeah, it's a non-quota bag, so it's not as, like, desired, but I don't necessarily always care about that because I find, like, the Hermes non-quota bags, I actually tend to wear more than the quota bags. I don't usually wear my Kellys and my 
Birkin as much as like my Bolide and like my Pico tin. So that makes me feel like, you know, I would probably wear this 24-24 quite a lot because the size is cute. And I like how you can wear it short shoulder, you can wear it crossbody, you can wear a backpack. I like the colours it comes in as well. Like I've seen like a pink and red combination, which is so adorable, but you can also get really classic colours. I've also seen like purple and rose sakura. So it just comes in so many nice colours. And the good thing about this bag is that if you buy it on the pre-love market, you can get a really good deal on it. Like it's usually... Uh, less than retail so there's a lot of things that are like you know appealing about it and I feel like I'd wear it a lot but yeah and a part of me doesn't really like I used to be really obsessed with the Kelly Ado backpack but now I'm thinking like a backpack is not as versatile as like a crossbody or like you know I just feel like maybe it's not as versatile as a mini 2424 yeah, so I'm not quite sure about that one. I'm like on the fence. I don't know whether to choose Kelly Backpack or 2424. Next thing I'm confused about is uh, Mini Constance 18 versus Mini Ruli. Now, I did used to have a Mini Ruli and I kind of regret selling it. I had one in Blue Nui and the reason I sold it is because I didn't wear it that often because I found it quite annoying that when I put my stuff inside... Um, the flap would easily open, like if I put it on my car seat, the flap would open and all my stuff would fall out. And I found it quite annoying that it doesn't secure properly, which is why I sold it. And then, you know, I ended up going to Japan, so I ended up buying a mosaic bag. I ended up buying a mosaic bag in the 21 size, which, you know, it does open and it's like actually a very nice mechanism. And it's a similar kind of constancy vibe, so I don't regret, that. I regret getting that. But then a part of me kind of wants a constance anyway, because it's a very classic bag and yeah I would love one in like a darker color I think because you know crossbody is just easier and yeah I've always kind of wanted it but then a part of me also misses the Ruli just because I liked the style and I like how it's a little bit more under the radar and I feel like it's very different from the mosaic but the problem is the Constance is like a lot more expensive than the Ruli, like on the pre-love market anyway. Ruli has gone up to like 13,000 Australian dollars, I think in the boutique for like Evercolor. Um, and then Constance I think is like in the boutique probably like 14,000 to 20,000 depending on the finish. So yeah, and then Constance is also like almost the same price as a Birkin. So I'm like, why do I even want the Constance or would I want, rather buy like a pre-love Ruli for like under 10,000? So yeah, that's what's kind of like, no, but like deep down, I think I do want the Constance, even though I'm like, I don't know if I love the Constance anymore, because I've I always found like the H quite, yeah, but I don't know, I just, it is a bag that I do want in my lifetime, so I'm like, yeah, maybe I should skip the Ruli, there was a reason why I sold it, but then I'm thinking maybe I should have got it in like a cuter colour, like pink, or something like that, or like a nice gray or so a color that I prefer more than like navy blue because navy blue is nice but it's like not my favorite color so yeah I don't know I'm, I'm like on the fence about that whether I should get Constance 18 or Ruli mini uh yeah I'm not too sure but I'm very happy with mo mosaic bag so maybe I should just stick with that next bag that I'm tossing up between is Birkin 25 and Kelly 25 because although like Birkin 25 is like my ultimate dream bag like I think it is so like I just love it I kind of think deep down I would wear a Kelly 25 Retourne more than a Birkin 25 Retourne because, yeah, I'm not, I, Birkin Cellier is okay, but I think I prefer Birkin Retourne, which I already have one in the size 30 and I don't wear it much at all. So I'm thinking like maybe I'm just like not a Birkin person because I never wear my Birkin 30, but I can't bear to sell it because it's just so beautiful. And I think I will wear it quite a lot one day. But in terms of looks, I prefer Birkin 25 to like the Kelly 25 Renone. But when I was thinking about it, I'm like, okay, Kelly 25 Renone is a lot softer and easier to use. And then uh, it's got the shoulder strap. So it's going to be more practical than a Birkin. And I do have three Kellys, but they're all in Cellier and they're all in bigger sizes. So I find that they're very like almost more ladylike and more serious looking and a Kelly 25 Red or would be a little bit more cutesy and soft looking um and I would wear it a lot because of the shoulder strap and yeah I'm just thinking like maybe I would prefer that over Birkin 25 but to be honest I'll probably buy both anyway at some stage in my life but I'm thinking which one should I buy first Birkin 25 or Kelly 25 like is that like I just can't decide 
And then final thing I'm tossing up between is like a Kelly wallet or a Kelly to go because the price difference between the two is kind of crazy. The reason why I like the Kelly wallet is because, well, it will match all my Kelly bags and also I think it could be a nice like evening clutch. It's just a nice piece to have. Um, I don't really have any long wallets and yeah, I thought it would just be a nice, like, you know, you could use it as a clutch and it looks really pretty. But the good thing about constant uh, Kelly to go is that it has an inbuilt strap and this layout is a little bit more like a wallet on chain and it's like made to be worn as a clutch more than like a Kelly wallet, which is made to be a wallet. But on Etsy, you can buy conversion kits to make the Kelly wallet into like a Kelly to go. So I'm thinking, is it worth just buying the Kelly wallet and then just getting a conversion kit and put a strap on it? Or should I pay like three times the price and get an actual Kelly to go? Because that is probably just gonna look better. And it's actually the actual Kelly to go instead of me just hacking a Kelly wallet into like a Kelly to go. Like even though like Kelly to go is like 10,000 and then Kelly wallet is like probably like two to 3,000 on the pre-loved market, then I'm just like, what's worth it? Like, is it worth, like, in the span of my whole lifetime, maybe it's worth just saving up to get the Kelly to go and having an actual proper wallet on chain than getting, like, a DIY version that still cost me a few thousand dollars. Do you know what I mean, guys? Like, I just can't decide. And then a part of me is like, I don't even want it that much to spend $10,000, though. So I can't decide with that one anyway, which is why I haven't bought a Kelly wallet yet, because... Although I like I like it, I don't want to like waste my money on a Kelly wallet where maybe down the line I would prefer to buy a Kelly to go. So anyways, um, thanks for listening to my random thoughts today about handbags. Would love to know your opinions as well and I know probably a lot of you are going to say, Jess, you don't need any more handbags. But you know guys, I love thinking about handbags and thinking about my next purchase. So, and I think it's good, you know, with these designer handbags, it's good to take your time and really consider your options, I think. So yeah, let me know other bags that you're tossing up between in your head as well. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.